Well, not so good news, but not, well, let's just put it this way, it wasn't unexpected. Um, when this thing first came out, all I noticed was everyone had high blood pressure, or they had diabetes, or they were overweight, or they were smokers, or they were alcoholics. And uh, unfortunately, um, what was put on certificates of demise and the reality, obviously were separated. And uh, all I can say is that the CDC has come out and said, if I remember the number, I think it was 75% of all related fatalities had at least four comorbidities. Now, syndrome X all by itself has several functions, high blood pressure, uh, coronary artery disease, fatty liver disease, um, you know, high blood sugar, diabetes, of course, type 2. So um, um, all we know is there's, there's more data coming out that says if your body is in pretty good shape, uh, that would be your terrain, then you're pretty good. Um, like you said, I haven't been sick since November 2019. Um, uh, like I said, uh, I've had headaches here and there. Matter of fact, I think, I think I've had like maybe three headaches since I started this lifestyle back in May. And I know two of them were due to electrolyte imbalances. I was just my body reconfiguring to burn fat instead of uh, carbohydrate. And this last one hit, and uh, I was uptight and a little edgy for a couple of days. Um, punchy, um, just not not completely happy. And uh, I imagine that that must have been something. Uh, I had no fever, I had no chills, I had no loss of hunger, loss of appetite. Though I wouldn't know. I mean, I eat once a day, right? Uh, actually, I, I ate twice, um, and I had these salmon patties. They were really good. It's uh, canned savage salmon that would be non-farm raised, um, wild, I guess, wild caught, mixed with an egg, mixed with several spices, and a quarter cup of almond flour. And you fry those up in butter. I actually divided it by four instead of the five that I've seen the recipes. And it has things in it like dill, uh, it had onion, but what I did is I soaked some dehydrated onion up ahead of time. So, uh, mix and match. It was really, really good. And I covered each one with a little piece of cheese. Yep. And today I had another, I guess they call it contrapecho. Um, I would imagine by its name, it's part of the rib up against the uh, breast meat of the cow. So it's a rather fatty cut. It's a rib cut right near the bone, it's delicious. Got some silver skin, which I don't peel off and throw away. That's ridiculous, that's all collagen, you should eat that. Oh, I can't chew it. Don't, swallow it whole. Your, <laughs> your body will take care of it, trust me. Um, and then I had this delicious uh, soup made from the bones of a chicken, that, uh, the thigh bones and such, part of the back, that we have that separated and, and filleted because that's what's going to be for dinner tomorrow, but I made the broth today and threw two eggs into that, so it turns into like an egg drop soup. And I mix a little bit of tomato and some uh, guajillo chili to it. And along with that chunk of steak, I mean, it must have been maybe, yeah, it had to be uh, at least a foot long, and it was probably two or three inches wide, and it was a, at least an inch thick. So it was really delicious. And then I had uh, 20 chicken wings, 10 drumettes, 10 flats. All, of course, dimmed in Frank's. I just love Frank's. And then I had a salad. So, geez, I had soup, salad, chunk of meat, bunch of chicken. Life's good. I won't be eating anything uh, probably for the rest of today. Now, I'm pretty much done. Um, so, again, a uh, couple of things out there. Um, let's just say if your troops are in good shape, they're ready to defend. Okay, and then it doesn't matter what they throw at you. You can you can fight things off, and that's kind of the same way the uh, the body works. If your body's not prepared to defend itself because it's ill, 
it's already fighting everything you're eating. That's that's what this autoimmune thing's about. You eat a lot of grains. Those grains are looked at as enemies by the body because it's not real food. It's processed. It's ground up. It's stripped of all of its nutrients and all of its properties and then re uh, reassimilated with fake vitamin Bs and, and all that. Look, look at your typical ground flour. Whenever you see foods that say fortified with, it's garbage. It wasn't real food to begin with. And then they threw some synthetic vitamins at it. And all these poisons enter the body and the body treats it uh, because it's not real food. The body treats it differently. It actually treats it as an invader. Um, oh, the, the insulin's happy to strip it off and throw it on your waist and not your liver. Your liver's happy to pack itself full of fat. Your pancreas is happy to pack itself full of fat. Um, you know, with, with, with whatever it can get, it's like better this than nothing because this idiot isn't eating the right, uh, the right foods, the proper human diet. And uh, if we don't assimilate this, we're going to starve. But the immune system, of course, goes out. And uh, these, these particles, this fake food, this product that you're consuming, thinking it's sustenance, um, permeates your uh, intestines. And, and now your body has an inflammatory, constant inflammatory condition fighting off these products. Um, so I don't know. I, uh, I guess if you're happy, keep doing what you're doing. And if you're not, well, if at least cut out sugars and cut out the processed foods. I mean, even if you feel like you just can't live without your fruit, you can't live without this and that, um, you know, uh, if you just ate real food, you'd be farther along. Even even the completely hollow vegan diet. Again, no offense. Sorry, it is what it is. We can we can look up the nutrients and we can discuss all you want all day long. Big fan. Um, even the vegan diet um, is is as hollow as it is is better than the best fortified uh, fake food, processed food. Um, flowers, grains, seed oil, and sugar diet. So that's your uh, dos centavos. Uh, like my dad said, it's advice worth the price. Talk soon. Bye, guys.